That is, of course, Wendy Matthews with her ARIA award-winning song, The Day You Went Away. Well, the singer and animal lover is also lending her voice to RSPCA's campaign to put an end to puppy factories, and she joins us now. Big welcome to Wendy. Explain to us, can you explain what happens in puppy factories? Oh Lord, um, the, some of the female puppies are put aside for um, breeding, yep. uh, very, very small. They have very, very limited time with their parents. They're not taught anything naturally from their mothers. Um, the mothers are never let out of a very small cage that they can just turn around in. That's like nine, eight, nine birth cycles in a row. Um, and they have their babies, they mourn for weeks every time their babies are taken. Um, the babies, as I say, are completely unsocialized. They've oh never goodness. met their parents. The dogs, uh, the breeding dogs at the end of their breeding stages are in horrific conditions. Um, they're usually just put down, very seldom saved. And these tiny puppies go out into the world, into our homes, completely unsocialized, um, never having learned anything naturally as, as a canine. They're not honored the way they're supposed to be living at all. Well, how do we know where the puppies have come from mm. if you want to buy some, a puppy? Some uh, pet shops are, are ethically minded, yep. um, but they'll state that. Others um, basically, unfortunately, just buy from puppy mills. And I think basically what's important for people to know who buy at a puppy sh um, at a pet store instead of adopting, buying instead of adopting, um, these are dogs that are not socialized. These are creatures that you're going to have for 15 very important mm. years of your life. And they're not, um, what's the word? They're not given their best shot at all in the first, you know, mm. in the first part of their lives. And they're going to be unbalanced dogs probably for the rest of their lives, which is a bit of a handful. What do you think the reasons are in society that brought about? Commerce. It's all really? about money. I mean, yeah. I Just think money. anything that gets out of hand is, 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 yeah. Wendy, do these occur in private homes? Where, where are puppy factories No, happening? they're huge. Um, they're rather large. I actually, by chance, saw the, um, the Dog Whisperer the other night and there was a, a full hour on puppy mills in the States. And there were three um, sections in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, tin sheds in 100 degree weather. Oh. No, no air conditioning, no heating, gets down to very freezing in the... Uh... No, they're, they're it regionally, they're in the cities, they're huge, they have a massive turnover of puppies, um, and two million dogs are put down every year in, wow. uh, in Australia. Wendy, are there certain breeds that are targeted for, for puppy mills? These little guys are very popular. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I've seen I've seen border collies, I've seen Labradors, I've seen lots of uh, you know big strong dog breeds that should be never. They have no function of their back half because they've never run, they've never mm. let rip in a field, they've never you know. So are these all the, uh, the you know the pet shops that have been cropping up in uh, in major shopping centres and absolutely online, in newspapers and in pet shops are are the. Uh, Mm. are the bad news and basically I'm here to let people know they've got a choice yeah um, not to say don't ever you know go to a pet store again but you do have a choice as to whether adopt um, a healthy puppy that has known its mother mm. and you know learned a few things and, and had socialized love and exercise. And had, exactly and, and where will we where will we it. find these where are we most likely to find these pups uh, breeders private breeders um, people that state where they come from anywhere where you can meet these little guys parents mm and see what, what you're headed for. Sometimes you can go and, and meet the puppy when it's tiny and then Absolutely. come back for it when it's an adult, so you, when it's a, appropriate for it that's to leave right. its That's right, and mom. that's healthy. Mm. These, these tiny puppy mill dogs are taken way too early. At a welfare league, though, like the RSPCA mm. or something like that, you can't meet the parents there, but they're all right. No, that's true, but right. they, they know their background. Right. Um, they know the background. You know exactly what you're in for. Mm. Um, and at 
as far as adopting dogs go, they're just as cute, and you know, there's there's also little baby ones and gorgeous ones to adopt mm -hmm. instead of to buy. Mm. But just to make people aware of, of what they're yeah. what they're getting and what they're perpetuating. Well, I had absolutely no idea, and I've got to say, I'm really shocked because mm. I am an animal lover, mm. and I've always loved pet stores, mm. and uh, yeah, it's really too. disturbing, really, yeah. really disturbing. Well, don't forget to look out for where your puppy has come mm. from. It's not as hard as it sounds, and you can find. Find out more at the Circle website, thecircleatnetwork10.com.au. Please thank Wendy Matthews. <laughs>